Hey, what's going on guys? Raw Lucario here, and I am doing something that I didn't really think I would be doing. I'm covering LEGO news! Um, so yeah, LEGO has just revealed the LEGO Office Ideas set, and I wanted to talk about it both because I'm a big fan of LEGO, and I'm also a big fan of The Office, and um, this is a really good set. There, I do have some problems with it, but I think overall it's a really, really well done replication of the show, and it's chock full of references from what I can see, and you can tell um, it's just got a lot going on in it, and I want to take you guys through what I notice and what I see, but before we do that, let's just take a look at some of the box art here. So here's the front box art. It's pretty standard it has the set and it shows all the people included with it and you can also see on the top there the full lineup of minifigures and for the most part I'm happy with the minifigure selection there's just like one or two characters I feel like who should have been added but other than that I'm, I'm happy with that I'll get more into that later but you can also see on the side there um, like the entrance to the building it's you know it, it works it's fine for what it is but I mean ultimately I really love what we're seeing here so um, I'll take you to the back of the box now and so here we are now at the back of the box and you can see that there's quite a bit more going on they've got four or five images here that are referencing specific episodes of the show and you can see um, just the whole office from a different angle and you can also see that Michael's office is actually able to be taken out of the set so if you want to do stuff with there and it's not easily accessible although the fact that it has an open ceiling it should be fairly accessible as it is but luckily they do allow you to take it out the conference room I don't know if it can be taken out I don't think so it looks like it's on the same base plate not that it really needs to be because not only is the ceiling open but it also has that back open wall but yeah, you can just see a lot going on here. And I won't take you through all of these images, but I'll take you through a couple of them and then also I think one or two that they just released on their own. And they do a really good job of referencing a bunch of different stuff in the show. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of a closer look at the set itself. And here we can see all the characters in a bit more detail, and we can see just the slew of references that they decided to include here. I mean, on the TV, you've got uh, the Scranton rap on the whiteboard in the conference room there, too. You've also got the pyramid scheme. Then when you take it a little further out of the office, you've got Stanley holding a pretzel, Phyllis knitting. I believe it's the mittens that she was knitting Michael on his last day in the office. Kelly's holding her birthday cake. Uh, and then right above her, you can see the stapler and the jello. Kevin's got his spilled chili. And Creed, I think, is supposed to be holding some sort of fruit. I'm thinking what he's holding is the, uh, the potato when they swapped out his apple for the potato and he didn't notice. And then Meredith's holding the bat that went over her head. Pam's holding her teapot. There's just a lot going on here in terms of references. But the build itself is really, really well done. I mean, it's very, very clean looking. It doesn't feel like anything's really out of place. And the only thing that I think is a little weird is the floor. I'm pretty sure the floor was a different color gray. But, I mean, that's very, very nitpicky. Other than that, I think they did a perfect job replicating this, and it just looks so good. I, it really does. Now, I do have a couple problems with it, though, that I can get into in a little bit, but overall, I have to say, before I go into just a couple of minor problems with it, it's a well-done set. Really, really well done, and I don't even have it in front of me. I can already just tell by the images that it's really well done. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited that this is even being made. We've been asking for it for so many years, and it's just so exciting. And here you can get a better look of that side view of the office. And this is where I kind of want to just talk about a couple of the oddities in the set. I think the biggest one is the fact that the accounting area is just 
cut off. And I think from this area you can get a better look at it. And I get why they wanted to reduce piece count and also probably save on face plates, but it's just an odd omission. Like you can see like there's the cabinets that are on the back side of the accountants and then just it's gone. It's it's gone. I guess it's been beamed up by uh by Scotty because it's just missing entirely. And then I think the other thing that would have helped this set is that on this side here, I think it would have been nice to get a couple studs with the wall, just so it would feel like a little bit more of a complete diorama here. I mean, I get why, because for play, they probably wanted it to be more accessible from this side, but I think it still would have helped the set. Um, other than that, though, I mean, I'm really happy with it. I just have a couple issues with, with um, characters, but the overall build, I think beyond those two problems is fine and yeah i'm aware that like even jim's office from season i think six and then it will later become daryl's office is also missing but honestly i don't really think you need that i think the only thing that really needed to be there was um the accounting area with also creed and, and meritus area because as you can see from this image th there are like 15 characters in the set and nine of them nine of the 15 characters don't have their desk available to them which is really crazy i mean the only people who actually have somewhere to sit are pam dwight jim michael phyllis and stanley that's it so i mean and i get you want to have some of them walking around obviously but it, it's weird man it's really really weird to just not have that many seats for them i mean I guess you could put some of them in the conference room, but that's really the only reason I have an issue with not having that. It just feels like the office is a little more crammed, I think, because of all the minifigures. And speaking of the minifigures, you can see that we got quite a lot of them here. 15 of them, to be exact. We've got, from left to right, we've got Daryl, Phyllis, Ryan, Kelly, Toby, Pam, Jim, Michael, Dwight, Angela, Oscar, Kevin, Stanley, Meredith, and Creed. And that is a long, long, long lineup. And honestly, like I said, I'm really happy with this figure selection. The only person who I feel like really needed to be here was Andy. I don't know where he is he's just MIA for some reason. Like, if you're gonna include Daryl and Creed, who really had no importance in the earlier seasons at all, I feel like you should include Andy. Um, especially since his desk is in the build. Like, it would have just been another character to have sitting down at a desk. But, otherwise, I'm really happy for it. So, um, I'll take you through all the references that the characters are having in this image. Uh, so... Daryl's, apparently that restaurant, that pamphlet he has, is like an actual restaurant, like right outside Scranton, from what I can tell, which is really, really cool. And then Phyllis is holding her knitting thing, uh, Ryan has his phone, and the cool thing about Ryan is, is that that figure of him has stubble from season four, but if you rotate his head around, it's clean shaven, like in the earlier seasons. Then, Kelly doesn't have anything uh in that image she looks fine honestly all these figures just kind of look fine to me there's none that really like jump out as like wow that's really cool and the one that i really need to touch upon is up next is toby that is a horrible face for him it's an awful face if you don't know that's actually the face that they custom made for jerry seinfeld and it just doesn't look right, especially with that hair. That hair is actually the hair that the set designers of the LEGO Ideas set used for Jerry's hair before they made the custom mold for it. So when I look at Toby in this set, I just think Jerry, and that's not a good thing to have. And then when you move on to Pam, her hairstyle isn't right. She should have a different hairstyle because that's very clearly like seasons one to three Pam. I don't know, and that's like a later season hairstyle. And then she's actually the only character in this set to have any detailing on their legs. The rest of them are just all colored. And, she, and it's, uh, it's odd because it's dual molded. Like if they were willing to do dual molded, why only for one character out of 15? 
And as a matter of fact, I don't think any other character has any arm printing either. I don't think any of them have arm printing from what I can tell. Um, but I mean, the rest of them, they just kind of work, you know? I mean, like, they're cool, and I mean, you can tell who they are, but I think characters, especially like Kelly and Angela, and maybe even Meredith would have really benefited from some dual-molded legs like Pam has, and it feels a little weird that we didn't get that for more characters than just Pam. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and swap it over to an image of the full set and then just give my final ideas and opinions on it. But, um, yeah, I mean, while this set does have a couple of issues, some in the minifigures, some in just the odd cutoff of the set, overall, it's a really, really good build. And I think, especially for the cutoff areas, if you really wanted to, they seem like very easy mods that you could do to just add on to the office. Even if you wanted to add, like, the break room and the annex, I think it would be fairly easy to do if you really wanted to. And it's just so cool that we're getting this because we've been asking for this for years, man. I can't tell you how many LEGO Ideas office sets I have seen just get axed by lego time and time and time again so i'm really really glad someone finally got it through and it looks really really great i i cannot wait to just see it fully i want i want to see someone have it in their hands and just take this through all the references to it unfortunately i don't think that person can be me because i don't have the the equipment to film it but I'm just really, really happy about this. It looks so great, and I cannot wait to see what people will do to this set, and I also can't wait to see what comes out of LEGO Ideas in the future. So if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, please be sure to let me know. I really enjoyed making this. Le LEGO, aside from video games, is probably my biggest passion, so I love being able to cover it whenever I can. Um, so if you guys like this video please be sure to let me know by leaving a like comment and subscribe and you know if you do i'm sure you'll be sure you'll see more of this type of video from me and uh yeah i guess i'll talk to you all in the next one uh goodbye